Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. Welcome to a new day. Step up in the oracle. Silver and black, you know we so historic. Many backbreakers, many chain treasures. The other teams only wish they could measure up. Success is the business. You be my witness. Come feel the wrath of an Oakland menace. From state to state. In any given study, it's the Raider attack. Strap them up and let's play. It's a black attack laced with silver, and we deliver. Guaranteed to make it show the past quiver. Look in the mirror, search your soul in the black hole. Fourth and goal, you couldn't cross the goal if you're paid toll. Knuckle up, get on the line, we going 99. Y-D-S, Y-E-S, take this form to your chest, cause you're with the... Welcome to another edition of Inbounds with the Raiders. I am Tony Astor, and today we are here with Stefan Wisniewski. A little bit about Stefan, he is a native of Pennsylvania where he attended Central Catholic High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After high school, he went on to attend Penn State, and then in 2011, he entered the NFL Draft where he was selected in the second round by the Oakland Raiders as a guard and center. So my first question to you is, when you got drafted, how did you feel to be selected to the Oakland Raiders, the team where your uncle, Steve Wisniewski, played here for 13 years and had eight Pro Bowl seasons? It was really exciting. You know, I, I grew up watching the Raiders and, and rooting for my uncle, and you know, my whole life was going to Raider games and wearing silver and black, and finally comes time to you know, play in the NFL, and sure enough, I get picked by the Raiders. It was a dream come true. Yeah, that's super exciting. All right, and could you just explain your role on the field as a um, center and as a guard? Sure, so the center is, is kind of like the leader of the offensive line up there. He's the one who snaps the ball for those, uh, those watching who aren't the biggest football fans. I, I give the quarterback the ball and a lot of responsibilities as far as communicating with my other linemen as far as where we're going, who's blocking who, and uh, a lot of different things like that. Defenses in the NFL, they give you a whole lot of different looks. So got to be ready for everything, got to get everyone on the same page. And then I got to block somebody and snap the ball. So it's a lot of, a lot of work, but it's fun. Yeah, it sounds like a very important role. So I just want to first go back. We're going to start back with your high school years. Um, could you explain your normal routine during the football season? Sure. So it was real busy days, you know, waking up early. I had a long commute to my high school. I went to Catholic school in the city, so long drive in at school, working hard all day, uh, long practice and, and watching film and, and learning. And then when that day was over, go home and, and do some homework. So it was definitely busy days, but I was always a guy that, that cared a lot about schoolwork and worked hard, did well there, ended up graduating third in my class in high school. Nice, congratulations on that. So uh, your time management, obviously you got that down to pretty well. Could you explain your time management? Like how did you decide when you'd fit in your schoolwork, when you'd fit in football practice or family, friends, all that kind of stuff? Sure, I always thought it was important to prioritize schoolwork over anything else. You know, if you start by by having some fun, hanging out with your friends or, or doing something like that, then it's real easy to just keep putting it off, keep putting it off, and then never do it. So my thought was always, I have to get this done. It's not optional. I'm going to do it first. When it's done, you know, maybe I'll have some time to do something fun. If I don't have any time to do anything fun, well, that's too bad. I got to take care of my work and fun second. Yeah, that's very good. So then did you play any other sports in high school other than football? Yeah, I wrestled. You wrestled. And did you have to adjust your time management or did you stay to that same schedule? I try to keep it consistent, you know, school all day, work on sports for a while and then homework after that. Yeah, very good. All right, so then we're going to go fast forward to your senior year in high school. How did you decide that Penn State's where you belonged and did you have multiple offers to other schools other than Penn State? Yeah, I had some different offers. Um, and I looked around at some different schools. I like Boston College a lot. I like North Carolina and uh, some other ones. But, you know, I, I like Penn State because it was a great combination of academics and athletics. I knew if I went to Penn State, I would have been part of the Schreier Honors College, which is a, a really good academic program they have there. So I was a part of that, part of a big time football program. And, and that's what I was looking for. Nice. And your dad and your uncle went to Penn State as well, too. Did that kind of help you? Yeah, that decide? helped. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it wasn't entirely a choice. I, uh, my family might have disowned me if I went somewhere <laughs> else. But I'm glad I went there. It was yeah. an awesome place. Good. All right. So then once you got to 
Penn State and you now have your football season, you have a different routine with academics and schools, everything's different. Did you have to adjust your time management from high school to your collegiate career? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the workload academically in college goes way up and um, the workload as far as football is concerned goes way up. So it was, it was a really long day. Um, a lot of hours in football, a lot of hours of studying, and uh, the thing in college is it's all on your own, you know. Teachers, they assign a whole bunch of stuff, it's, and they don't care if you do it or not. It's, it's up to you. It's, it's, it's self-driven in college. Uh, you gotta, you got to earn what you get. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of time spent sitting alone in a room studying, but I, I think it paid off for me. Good. So you did receive a lot of academic support. For those student athletes who are in college as well, is it important to use all of those resources that you have available and did you use them throughout your whole year for your years there or did you just use them for the first few years that you're required to or yeah they they always had a lot of help for guys who needed it uh study halls and, and tutors and different things um I, I wasn't a big tutor guy i like to study by myself but it, it's always a good idea that if you need help ask for it you know someone will be able to help you and um i, I tutored some of my teammates to be honest um, and I always enjoyed that. that. That's what I studied anyway, was education to be a teacher. So I always enjoyed teaching and helping when I could. Nice. So then uh, you enjoyed teaching. How did you decide that secondary education is what you wanted to do? Well, I wanted to do something where I could have an impact on the lives of kids. And uh, there's different ways to do that. I think teaching is a great way. And uh, I chose English because I like reading, like analyzing things. And I really think that when it comes to, to good books, that you can kind of get kids thinking about some of the deeper issues and more important things in life. And that's, what, that's what's always interesting to me. That's really great. And do you plan on going into the teaching field when you finish with football? Yeah, I, we'll see what happens. But it, it definitely might happen. That's, I really enjoyed it. I student taught for a while. And I uh, really enjoyed that experience. Might, might do it someday. Great. And um, along with your academics on the field, I read that you were the first freshman to start, true freshman to start for Penn State since 1999. How did that feel? It felt great. You know, got in there early, was playing young, and uh, started a lot of games there. And football career really went well. Won a Big Ten championship while I was there. Had a lot of fun. That's great. Do you feel like you did anything differently that you might suggest to other student athletes to get them in that same position that you were in your freshman year? Well, you, I, a lot of it came to do with being prepared, coming from a good high school and uh, working really hard before I got there. You know, that whole off season, you have a year, your senior year, where a lot of kids kind of relax and hang out and enjoy themselves. And I really made sure I was working my butt off a couple hours a day at football, getting better. And uh, there's still time senior year to have fun a little bit. Yeah, that's great. That's great that you're a hard worker. So then speaking of hard work in college, you got to your last season at Penn State. Did you have to change your routine to enter the NFL draft? Did you have to do anything differently as far as physically, academically? Yeah, so my senior year fall, I, I finished my, my degree, graduated in the fall. So then the spring semester, I didn't have to go to class. So I could just be all football all the time in preparation for the draft in the NFL. And that was a different experience going from you know, just working on football a couple hours a day to football all day, every day. Yeah. So that's, that's a different thing. Great. So you're definitely very structured. Uh, in the classroom, on the field, and a little bit about your personal life as far as health goes. Are you? Do you have a certain uh, health, like? Sorry, um, like <laughs> your food that you eat, like you choose a certain diet to follow. Yeah, definitely. Part of being a, a good athlete is there's a lot of a lot of different things you can do to try to be at your healthiest. Nutrition's a big part of it. I always try to eat lean proteins and good carbs and get a lot of fruit and. Um, need a lot of calories to be as big as I am so yeah. it, it takes it takes a lot of eating but uh, try to eat healthier stuff and there's all kind of different stuff too with vitamins and get enough sleep and and different things with training that I try to do to keep myself healthy as well good so then um, does it vary between the when you're in season and off season as far as your diet and nutrition goes a little bit you know in season you got to be a little bit more focused because uh, you gotta you gotta be ready to perform you know at yeah. your best on game day off season you can relax a little bit, but you're still training hard, so not, not too much. All right. And then <clears throat> the current diet that you have, did you have that same kind of diet in college and high school, or have had, you had to adjust your healthy eating habits as you've gotten older? Yeah, I've definitely learned more as I've gone. Um, you know, I think I learned a lot during college from, from other guys who knew how to eat and from nutritionists and, uh, and things like that. And 
you continue to learn more. There's guys in the NFL that are pretty serious about nutrition, so continue to continue to always be learning. I think that's important with anything, nutrition, anything, football, academics, whatever it is, just always be willing to learn, always be asking questions of people who know more than you. Great. And then what about physical activity? Do you feel that it's important to maintain physically active in the off season as well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the, no time to take a break. And to be honest, if I don't, if I don't work out for a week, I feel like a bum, you know. I <laughs> yeah. feel like I'm just feel crappy and like I'm wasting my time. I got to get out and sweat and move around and feel like I have more energy and just feel better about myself when I'm doing that. Yeah, that's very good. So for our viewers at home who might not be physically active, do you have do you think it's important to encourage them to be physically active even if it's something as easy as taking a walk or you know, something more vigorous if they choose to. Yeah, absolutely. I really believe you feel better when you're in good shape, when you're healthy, when you're active. And, uh, you know, if you're feeling better and you're healthier, you're going to be more productive at whatever it is that you do. Right, definitely. So for um, the our youth and the NFL has a campaign, the Play 60 campaign. Are you familiar with that campaign at all? Yeah. Have you done any work with the campaign at all? Uh, no, not really. No, but it's definitely important to you, right? Getting you guys out there encouraging the youth to be active yeah absolutely we believe kids from from very young to even even grown up should all be active yeah all right so another great quality about you I read about is that you're very in, into community service I read that you do things at the Oakland Children's Hospital you've done various after-school programs around the area how important is that to you to help get back to the community it's really important that that's the fun stuff to be honest you know going to work every day smashing your head into people that gets boring but <laughs> You get to go go help kids and be uh, be out in the community serving others. That that really gives me a lot of joy to, to serve others. We do we do so much for ourselves all day. It's that gets old, you know. It's really I really believe it's life giving to go go live for others. That's great. That's so great. So my last question to you before we go is, you've had this long journey, a very successful journey. Is there any advice that you could give to our viewers at home? Any wise words that you've gotten along the way that you'd like to share with our viewers? Sure. Um, I mean, I've gotten a ton of great advice in my life. Um, tough to pick one, but uh, something I always always try to live by is um, just trying to make the most out of what we've been given. You know, we uh, every person's been given different talents, different abilities, and I really feel like it's our it's our responsibility to to try to make the most out of what we have. You know, some of us have more than others. Some of us has left, but what each of us can do is just give it all we got all the time and do the best we can and uh, I feel like that's that's our responsibility if not we're, we're wasting what we've been given and we've been given too much you know yeah that's great advice well thank you good luck to you in the season thank you. and once again I am Tony Astor here with Stefan Wisniewski and this has been an inbounds production with the Raiders